Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm out here at one of my favorite locations, uh, Sycamore Ranch. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm gonna do a 10 target challenge. So on this challenge, what I'm gonna do is any target that I have that is consistent, doesn't bounce around a lot, I'm gonna dig it up. And I'm only gonna do 10 targets today and see what I get out of that 10 target challenge. And I encourage uh, anybody, if you wanna tag me in your video and uh, do your 10 target challenge, I'd like to see what you guys find. All right guys, let's see what the first target is. All right guys, the first target I got so far um, is a solid 13. Um, my guess is gonna be a pull tab, but I always dig these numbers because you never know. Sometimes it could be a nickel, sometimes it could be a ring. Most of the time, it's a pull tab. And that's what we got, guys. Pull tab. First target. All right, let's see what the second target is. All right, guys, here's the second target. Coming in solid. 14. Let's see what we get down here on this one. Another crusty pull tab. All right, guys. Let's see what number three gives us. On to the next one. All right, guys. Here I've got a eye tone coming in 31, 33. Not bouncing around too much. I'm gonna dig this one up and see what number three gives us. There it is, guys. Got a quarter on this one. I'll take that over a pull tab. All right, guys, that was number three. Let's see what we can get for number four. On to the next one. All right, guys, here's number four. And uh, this one's coming in at a four, which is a low tone. And a lot of times that number is gonna give you foil, but sometimes that's what your, uh, your thin gold comes in at those low numbers but this time foil that's normally what it's going to be but if you want to look for thin gold you want to dig those numbers as well with this type of machine all right guys on to the next one let's do number 21 my guess is going to be a zinc penny that's usually what those guys ring in at Let's take a look and see what number five is going to be. See if I'm right. Yep, there it is right there. That's your 21. All right, guys. All right, guys, I've got two targets here. Um, one is coming in. Where is it at? Solid 21. I'm guessing that's a penny and then right beside it I got a 19 right beside it so I'm guessing zinc pennies again sometimes if those pennies start to corrode they'll give you some weird numbers let's see with the 21 that was on the left here
There it is. Penny. This one actually might be copper. Nope, I think it's a, yeah, 83. So it's a zinc penny. And then that other number, which was a 19, was right here. And that was number six, by the way, that penny. Another penny here. Yep, see, that one was giving us a weird number because that one's been whacked by the mower. That's number seven. And let's move on to number eight. All right, guys, here's number eight. This one's coming in at a 26. Right underneath that walnut. Let's take a look and see what this one is. My guess is going to be a dime. That's usually what the dimes come up at on this machine. Right there on the surface. Oh, wait. I was wrong. Look at that. Wheat penny. Let's check the year. This is copper, so this one was coming in higher than what the normal uh, number would be on a zinc. 1958 looks like a D 1958D right on that's a good find I'll take that all right uh, that was number eight moving on to number nine Go. all right guys here's another one of those low numbers this one's coming in at a six my guess is going to be foil, but I never pass these up because, again, this could be thin gold. And that's what we got, a piece of foil. All right, guys, uh, that was number nine. Yeah, nine. One more to go. Let's move on to number 10. GoPro stop recording. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this up, this video up <clears throat> with a solid 17. I'm going to guess this is probably going to be a bottle cap. That's usually what those come in, like a 15, 17 depending on what make it is. It's right here on the surface, and it's not, it's just the, oh wait, I thought it was a beaver tail from the pull tab, or ring pull. If you guys can get that, let me get in the sun here. Looks like an earring. Cool. That's a great way to finish off the video, number 10. That was a solid 17. I was expecting a bottle cap. Instead, I get a an earring with a, looks like a kitty cat on it, on a light bulb or something. I'll see you at the roundup. Hey, everybody. In the roundup, you're going to notice that I've only got nine targets laid out on the workbench. Somehow, I lost target number nine which was that second piece of foil that I found. I don't know what happened to it, and I did not catch that when I was filming the roundup. All right, guys, <clears throat> here I am back at the house. Gonna do the roundup on that uh, 10 target challenge. This was my 10 targets. First one was the pull tab, second one, another pull tab. Third signal, that was coming up in the 30s. That gave me a quarter. Um, that 
foil lid off of a drink that was a low tone. My first zinc penny, that was uh, target number five. And then I had the two back to backs right here. They were side or back to back or side by side. Um, it was a 1983 zinc penny. And then I'm not sure the date on this one here. It's pretty mutilated. It got hit by the mower. And those were um, seven and eight. And then on number nine, the target we got there was a 1958 wheat penny. And that was a good score. I like that one. That's the find of the day out of the 10. And then I just got this uh, on the 10th target. I just got this. Looks like a little kid's ear ring. It's got a kitty cat on it. Looks like it's inside of a light bulb. No markings on the back. So it's just junk jewelry. Anyway, so yeah, that was the 10 target challenge. Um, if anybody wants to do a 10 target challenge and tag me in it, very interested in seeing what you find. Anyways, thanks for tagging along and I'll see you at the next one.